So a fresh chapter, and now we have some challenges. We're going to actually make some edits to our documents. Now I've loaded Illustrator back up after the last exercise, and it's returned me back to the home screen. And you'll notice that now we've uh, opened up a couple of documents in the past. They now show us thumbnails under the lower section of the homepage under recent. It shows you a thumbnail of the artwork and the name of the file, and then roughly how many minutes ago it was that you edited it. So if you hover over the poster Treco one file and left click on that, it will open up on screen. And what we need to do in the following exercises is we need to take the artwork that's on artboard number two, build a hiker, and you can choose the facial expression, the hair and the different backpack. And then we're going to move all of that artwork onto artboard number one. And we're going to reunite the dad hiker, because that's where it's going to be, with the rest of his family, because he's been sadly missed. So first of all, we need to focus on artboard number two. I'm going to go down to the artboard menu. I'm going to choose to build a hiker. Now that should make the artboard fit inside of the image window. If it doesn't, you can always go to the view menu and you can choose fit artboard in window. And I'll click back out of the view menu. So there's a definite four step process to making edits to anything inside of Illustrator. The first of which is get a good clear view of what it is you want to alter and work with. The second thing then is select it because you can't affect something until it's selected. And then you pick the appropriate tool that you wish to make the edits with. And then finally you deselect that content. That's pretty much how all the editing processes work inside of Illustrator. So with that in mind, I'll head down to the bottom of the tools panel and I'll pick up the zoom tool with a left click, hover over the region that I wish to zoom into a little bit closer, maybe a couple of clicks of the mouse. Because what I intend to do is take one of these hairstyles, select them and move them over to where the dad hiker's head is. Then I need to select it, which requires you to go right to the top of the tools panel, hover over the tool there called the selection tool, affectionately known as the black arrow. When I left click on that and then hover my cursor away, you'll notice that the appearance of my cursor now looks almost identical to the cursor icon in the tools panel. And all that requires you to do then is to move your cursor around the screen. When you reach a point where you hover your cursor, the very tip of that cursor over something that can be selected, it gains a black square next to the cursor. This is Illustrator's way of saying, hey, if you left click now, you can select that thing that's underneath the cursor. So if I do that and left click, we get this. It's a bounding box. So this serves to give us a few options. First of all, it tells us that whatever is active for edits is inside of that bounding box. There isn't something wandering off the edge of the screen that's going to change and I'm not going to see that. Everything that's affected is going to be inside that bounding box. Also, bounding boxes have points all around the outside. They have points around every corner and every edge. These will allow you to do things like scale the size of something or rotate something, which we will come on to. But if you wish to move something, you have to hover over a coloured part of that shape. You can't hover your cursor anywhere inside of that bounding box, like here. If I hover my cursor over the white, which is actually just the blank page of the artboard, and try and click, I'll deselect the object. So you'll have to hover over something, see the black square appear, left click to make it active. You must hover your cursor over a coloured part of the object to reveal the symbol that now shows next to my cursor, which is the transform mode. And I can then click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and then drag across and move it over to where the dad's head is and then let go of the mouse like so. The bounding box reappears inside of there and I've moved my object. Now, if I'm thinking that, yeah, that's OK, I want to try something else, then you can do. I can hover back over that, click and hold down the mouse and move it back over here. And then if you wish to deselect, hover your cursor somewhere where there is no content and left click with the mouse. Now, in this case, I'm actually going to take the black hair in here, left click on that, and again, making sure that my cursor is hovering over the colour in that uh, particular piece of artwork. I'll click and drag and move this over and then position this over the top of the head in there, like so. So that's how you select something inside of Illustrator, move it, and then how you deselect.